Hi everyone, so I'm going to share with you all what I've been feeding Shadow for the past month and a bit. After finding out that he had arthritis, mild arthritis and hip displacement, hip dysplasia, I completely changed his diet and I feel like I'm at a place right now where I'm very happy with what I'm feeding him. I know it's working, um, it's been be beneficial and I'm just content with his food. So I'm really also happy to say that most of his diet is raw and that is something that I have struggled with for a very long time. I decided that buying him really good expensive grain free kibble was the best way to go at the beginning um, but now that he has this hip dysplasia I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that he has the best food and best supplements to prevent any more harm to his hips. So about 80% of his bowl, breakfast and dinner is raw meat, there's organs and bones in that. The rest is actually pretty raw as well, you're going to see later on. Or I just might mention it now, is this Zewi Pink Air Dry dog food. So this isn't kibble at all. 96% of this is fish, meat, organs and New Zealand green muscle. New Zealand, well, green muscle or muscle in general is really, really good for his issue that he has. It's extremely beneficial for joints and arthritis and all of that. So it's so important for me to find something like this that has green muscle in it or some type of like glucosamine ingredient. So I'm very happy that this is so convenient for me to buy. It is extremely expensive, but it is in terms of food. It is dried, but there is a lot of nutrition in this and it's not in any way kibble. There's no other additives in it at all. If I read you the ingredient list, the first 10 ingredients we have mackerel, fish, lamb, lamb heart, lamb tripe, lamb liver, lamb lung, New Zealand green muscle, lamb kidney, lamb bone, lecithin, Enolin from chicory, dried kelp. There's absolutely nothing in here that isn't good for him. Every single day I'm trying my best to just provide him the best food that he can have to help and prevent any more damage to his joints and bones and hips and that's just something that I'm very proud of. I spent so much money and time um, and just research into things that might help him so I've tried a bunch of supplements out and it's actually something that I really want to talk a bit more about um, I'm gonna start with that first one of the supplements that I decided to buy is the Sinequin tablets and this is the um, new and improved formula with Dixahan don't actually know what Dixahan is but basically this contains glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate so glucosamine hasn't been proven yet to my knowledge that it helps with arthritis and joints and all that stuff but a lot of people um, and even people that have commented on my videos have suggested that it's helped their dogs which gives me a lot of hope so this was something that I knew I really wanted to try out um, glucosamine is also in a lot of kibble and some dried dog food and they have a lot of supplements with glucosamine in it um, that are all related to joint health. So I bought 120 tablets of this, so four packs of these 30 in here. And I've been giving him this once every morning and every night. And he eats this like lollies. Something that I probably should note is that I'm, I've been very fortunate with him because he eats supplements and tablets and medicine like it actually is candy which is amazing because <coughs> it means I don't have to force this down his throat. Like I know a lot of other dogs that don't like medicine at all as well with a lot of humans. I mean, it's just a natural reaction. It doesn't taste good, but for some reason he has no problem eating this and I just chuck this in his bowl along with all his other food. Supplements that I started with two months ago is this one is from Nutra Eats. This is the hip and joint supplement powder. Um, it's got New Zealand green lipped muscle in it. And green lipped muscle is something that you're probably going to hear a lot in this video. It's something that 
helps with joints and um, arthritis um, and just movement in general for dogs and I guess other animals so I've been on the hunt for anything that is green lipped muscle like my middle name might as well just be green lipped muscle by now because a lot of these supplements that you'll hear has that ingredient in it this also has marine cartilage powder sheep liver powder seaweed and vitamins seaweed is another ingredient that's really good for his hips and joints um, anything with cartilage is really good with that as well, like building more cartilage around his um, hips. So this powder I really, really like, and I just sprinkle this on top of his raw meat, um, and we're basically good to go. So this Black Moors supplement is something that I kind of want to mention that I'm not going to ever purchase again. And the reason for this is... Basically, the first ingredient on here is rye flour. So, I, when I bought this, I was at the stage where I was buying anything and anything that said health, no, not, not health, that said joints in it. And this has, it's, it says joint health chews. So, I just purchased this on a whim without actually researching much into it. We have nearly finished the entire container, which is pretty sad because this isn't that good for him. There's a lot of additives in this. Rye flour is the first ingredient. Second ingredient is kangaroo meal. Third ingredient is glucosamine. And the other ingredients following that, there is water and soy flour. I don't want to be feeding my dog flour or any sort of grain. I'm very against that. And I've always been against that. Even when I feed him kibble, it's always been grain-free kibble. So this is something that I will never purchase again. He likes it, but it just isn't really that valuable for his health right now. These tablets here we purchased very early on when I found out that he had hip displacement and this is the Bromazil Mobilize tablet. What this has is green lipped muscle, again, shark cartilage, deer velvet and enzogonol. Don't know what that last one is, but the first three are really, really good for his hip dysplasia. So I've been giving him this once every day, no, twice a day, once for breakfast, once for dinner, and he eats this up like candy as well. These two products here I want to quickly mention, I really, really love, and I'm going to be repurchasing them again. It's from the brand OTB Healthy, it's a New Zealand company and it's New Zealand made. Um, this one is the MSM powder for healthy connective tissues, and I really like it. It actually looks like sugar. Um, it's just pure white, and I sprinkle this on top of his food every morning and night. This one here is the Canine Plus Joint Health and Vitality Tablets. And the ingredients in here are very similar to what I've been mentioning throughout the entire video. New Zealand Shark Cartilage, New Zealand Green Shell Muscle, New Zealand Kelp. It's just really, really good for him, and I give him two of these for breakfast and two of these for dinner as well. And he also eats this up like lollies. Right, these treats here, they're called the Artivite Joint Healthy Joint Health and Mobility Treats. They have artesamia and I'll, I, I'm gonna butcher that, so I'm not even gonna try to say that one. Um, and he's not a big fan of this, so this is probably the product that he likes the least. Um, this is probably something that I will never repurchase again just because it's quite difficult for him quite difficult to feed him this um, at the moment because he loves his raw meat I just put this in his bowl and he'll eat it up but prior to that I gave it to him as an actual treat um, just throughout the day and he just never really liked it so I will not repurchase this again it is really handy like the packaging is nice and handy but if he doesn't like it then it's just really difficult to get it get that in him so we've got some king salmon oil and salmon oil, fish oil, is really, really good for humans and dogs. Um, it's extremely good for his joints and bones and his um, hips. So this is something that I actually swear by. I just drop a little bit of this onto the Zewi Peak dried food. And it just absorbs it really well. Um, I have bottles and bottles of these. I actually had to, burn. I had to go and purchase more because we're running out. This is the last bottle. Um, and you put this in a fridge after you, you've opened it, which is really nice and just fresh. So I highly recommend this. And I would say even for dogs that don't have hip dysplasia or hip displacements or arthritis to, um, you know, give this a go. Because it's just a nice little add to any dog's diet. 
So from the same brand as the salmon oil, we have these treats as well. And I absolutely love these, even though they're a bit more expensive than just normal treats. But this is just pure King Salmon Bites. It's just dried salmon in a packet, um, which is really obviously good for us joints so I actually pop a bit of this into his bowl for breakfast or dinner sometimes um, I don't give this as a treat throughout the day I just find um, I don't know I've never been a fan of actually giving a treat throughout the day he eats breakfast and dinner and he doesn't really get much other food throughout the day so this is a really good one and I've also got some salmon fins here we go these salmon fins are from the exact same company and these are also really nice. He loves to munch on these and these are an exception I do give throughout the day. Sometimes when he's just been really good or if he's exercised a lot that day, I will give him a bit of this. He's only got one left as you can see and he just absolutely loves these. Um, on the same line as kind of dried meat, we've got some green lipped mussels. <laughs> So these are just dried mussels and I'll pop this into his breakfast or dinner bowl sometimes and it's just a nice add to his meal. These lamb waffles are a little bit off topic because they've got nothing to do with his hips or joints like everything else throughout this video but the dogs just really really love these. They're just natural lamb waffles, just dried lamb and the dogs basically would do a lot for these. So I sometimes give this to them when they're being really, really good, maybe twice a week at the most. As you can see, the packet is nearly out, so I'm gonna have to pop out and get some more of these, but Shadow, I absolutely love this. Um, it's just crunchy and it's really tasty for them. One of the last items I wanna mention is probiotic yogurt. So probiotic yogurt has really good properties for gut health and Funny story is that I started this for myself, so I started eating probiotic yogurt every night, a few spoonfuls a night for my gut, and it's helped me tremendously. That's like a whole different video, but for Shadow and Kano, the Bull Mastiff, I've been giving them a spoonful, like a big spoonful of this every morning for the past maybe two, three weeks, and they absolutely love it. I let them look out the container when it's almost empty, just like this one. This was last night when um, I finished it, and you know, there's obviously leftovers around the container and I just let them lick that out and they absolutely love this. Um, I don't know if it really does anything for them. I'm sure that it really improves their gut and helping them digest things. But yeah, this is just something that I wanted to add into their diet and now it's been a staple as well as eggs. So I don't have any eggs to show, but eggs is a really good protein source for dogs and um, that can be cooked microwaved boiled or just raw eggs so i have been giving shadow eggs maybe two or three times a week um, and that could be you know all those different ways of cooking it sometimes raw which i actually haven't really been a fan of raw because it gets really messy it's just liquid everywhere i like to microwave eggs and just give it to him that way where it's like half raw half cooked and he eats that like like there's no tomorrow he absolutely loves eggs and that's been a really good um kind of thing i mean it's always been in his diet since i've had him so yeah that's just something that i wanted to mention in terms of the rest of his diet which is raw i give him raw beef and chicken heart chicken neck as the bone um, i will be branching out to trying out more different like different organs and different bones but at the moment i'm very happy with just sticking with those three raw ingredients he really likes it and um yeah so if you have any suggestions on on specific raw meat or organs or bones please leave them below i'll be really interested to know what could really help with his you know joint issue that's the end of the video i hope you have enjoyed this i've enjoyed making this i feel like it's really fun to watch other people talk about what they feed their dog or their pets um it's just something that i'm really into i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you in my next one bye